and my project is called High Heat, Low Water, Tools for a Hotter, Thirstier Planet. One of the pieces is a cloud catching net and it gleans water from air moisture and travels down through small tubes in the surface down to the water bottle of the user and it's a cheap, affordable, democratic way of people um, being able to access fresh water. My project is focused on the, the space between the objects and the people. It's how the objects of serve you is my area I want to explore. My personal experiences inspired me to do this project. Like I have a profound hearing loss myself. I've always been self-conscious about wearing my medical device because people judge me based on my disability. So that's why I introduced the literally design for deaf women who are conscious about wearing their own medical devices or tie back their hair. So they want to have something really expressive to kind of show it off. Yes, I'm deaf, but I can also be a fashion. This is my, my project to make people reimagine the relationship between the objects and the and the people. Everything has been designed really easily to people to use, like the chair is easy to set down. That kind of design is convenient for life, but it's too convenient, I think. All of these objects straddle the world of pragmatic design and speculative design because they're talking about real issues using real technologies, but they're talking about a near future rather than today. Striking that balance has been part of the study. If I put my hair back up, and somebody looks at me, and um, this cochlear implant, it's on show. It, it screams deaf person, oh, should I talk through my hands, very sign language, or do I speak to her? It's a way of breaking physical and social barriers. When I study my BA course in China, I, I focus on the function. But here, I found that design is not just solving problems. It can making you know possibilities. Try to try to bring possibilities to this to this world and let people to think. And I feel like we're in a really unique place as designers to be able to impact people people's actions on the everyday and their small actions. And I actually think we're at an interesting moment where policy is quite fragile. Design, no one's really paying attention to as being capable of disrupting the status quo.